I'm fortunate to live in an era where we've said, no, actually a large number, not everything, but a large number of things, there really is an answer. To me, it's as second nature as breathing. I mean, you could ask me, why do I breathe? Now, I can explain to you physiologically why I breathe. You know, I need oxygen, I need to oxygenate my blood, that's how my metabolism functions, and so forth. But I breathe because I'm a creature that breathes. And uh, similarly, for curiosity, I could go through some analysis of the whole thing, but I've always wondered about the world. I've wondered what makes it tick. I've wondered uh, how I could understand it better. And when there's something I don't understand, I think, well, God, that's weird. I don't understand that. Now, how does that work? Is it, is it understandable? Of course, the position of science, once upon a time, uh, before science really came to the forefront, uh, when people asked, well, why was something, uh, the answer was an article of faith or a story that they were told about, you know, that, that the sky god is angry, that's why we're having storms. I'm fortunate to live in an era where we've said, no, actually a large number of things, there really is an answer. And over hundreds of years, scientists have cobbled together an understanding, so you actually can understand why it's a stormy day today. You can understand why there was an earthquake in a particular place. You can understand lots of stuff. Now, there's also a few things we don't know about. And to me, that makes it all the better. So when I'm curious about something, there's some chance that the whole world is still curious about it, that nobody knows. Um, and then the tradition of science has been, if you're curious about something, maybe if you think about it hard enough, you can put another brick on the wall. You, you can figure out how you can take that thing that you were curious about and didn't understand, you understand it, and communicate it to others so they can.